Hey folks, Charles 75 n here, and today we're doing the binding on unbelievable Telecaster. Now, I've already done the binding on the top, but I'm going to do the binding on the bottom with you today. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're, we are ready to go ahead and put our binding on the back of the guitar. And of course, we'll go through our process of, we've got our piece already back on the center. Laying. Again, remember that as you apply your binding, don't forget to push down. So you're not just pushing in, but you got to push down and make sure you're sitting on the bottom of that channel or you'll get a nasty gap and you won't realize it until after you apply. You might not realize it until after you apply your, uh, until after you have applied. <clears throat> your acetone and by then it's almost too late okay so we're going to start bending this over No, 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 no. So, overheated that a touch there. And the, um, trying to get it to lay down right. Overheated it. And the binding was starting to come apart. So that's the thing you've got to be careful. You've got to keep moving that binding. Go ahead and this, but we did bend it enough to sit there and do it. And we stopped just in enough time. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. In just enough time from... Um, from snapping that, uh, from melting that binding in half. So now we'll come over here, we'll heat it up, we'll lay it back down the right way. And we'll just hold that. Yeah. All right, so you can see a trick I do as we start up the other side is I use the binding curling way because coming around the fat curves it helps it to hug those but when we're trying when we're starting to uh do this the other curves it helps as well all right so so one thing we're gonna start doing is wrapping that around All right, so this booger wants to be. Yeah, you don't want So we've got that tight there. Now we're going to use our heat gun. We're going to come around that curve. And we're going to stuff this right in here. And because we took our time and did that, this is nice and clean. And I wish I had done that on the other side. 
Okay, let's get a piece of tape here because that came just perfect around that horn. It was a lot easier than it was last. It was a lot easier than on the other side, I'll tell you that right now. Okay, now I'm gonna come and I'm gonna get the razor and I'm gonna cut this uh, this other edge completely clean and I'm gonna do that off camera. Okay, so we're gonna start uh, laying our acetone in here. Make sure you've got your cloth handy and wipe off all your excess. We'll cinch it up right here. And again right here. Excellent. Do the same thing over on this side. Cinch it up here, and whoops, cinch it up here, okay. All right, well, we've gone ahead and sped up the clip here because spreading this acetone does take a while, and I didn't want the video to be too boring or too long and people not go ahead and watch it all. But you can see here that you've got to let that acetone kind of wick down between the binding. you got to make sure that you wipe off all that excess because that excess will destroy the finish that is already on um, your fabric or you know, mess with your fabric. But it also continue to me uh, melt your acetone in your, so your binding will be really ugly if you don't get off that excess. And uh, if you see your tape start to lift there, it's because acetone is underneath it. And so you need to take that piece of tape off and wipe it down. Um, it's also good and handy to have a rag with acetone handy on it, on it. Because if you do have some color bleed from one binding to another, then uh, with that acetone, uh, acetone drenched rag, it'll actually wipe right off and you won't have to spend hours scraping later. So just a couple tips, some things that will help out and hopefully make your uh, binding a little bit easier. And, and you know, I really got to hand it to the Matt at Texas Toast. He makes this look so easy and does it so quickly. But when I do it, it takes forever. And so I guess that will come with practice and we'll just really see from there. But um, this binding job is better than the binding on uh, my Telecaster. So I think Unbelievables can be pretty happy with it. So uh, the next big, you know, the next really big step is uh, going ahead and scraping that binding down so it's flush with the body. And that's going to be a lot of fun and it's always a big mess. But you see here that, you know, I've, you, you can go ahead and just do little sections and that's a lot easier because that makes sure you make sure that you're wiping off all that excess acetone there. But you get in a hurry and you get ahead of yourself and when you get in a hurry and you get ahead of yourself you kind of make some mistakes so i hope that this has helped out uh, a bit for those of you that want to just start doing your own binding and yeah all right folks there we have it we have the binding on unbelievable telecaster it's looking really good our next step is to take the tape off check for any gaps in the binding we can fix that with some more acetone and the heat gun if we need to then we can scrape that binding down so it's flush with the body, do any final wet sanding the body may need, and then we're ready for clear. So as always, I want you to enjoy your guitar journey, and I want to thank you for being part of mine. 
If you liked what you've seen here, go ahead and give the channel a sub or check out some of the other videos. Take care, folks.